I get a lot of questions about battery life. Well, particularly this bad boy right here, the Samsung Galaxy Active 2. Let's take a look at the battery life, discuss it, break it down. How long does it last? What am I doing during those times? Yeah, let's go. Deep dive into battery life of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 LTE edition. And here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 LTE edition. So this just came out, oh, I don't know, about a month ago, unless you pre-ordered it. Actually, about two or three weeks ago. And for some reason, uh, Bixby thought I was wanting something. Hey, Bixby, how many steps have I taken? Hi, Bixby. How many steps have I taken? Hi, Bixby. How many steps have I taken? You've walked 7,243 steps. Hi, Bixby. What's the weather? Hi, Bixby. What's the weather? Hi, Bixby. What's the weather? I need your permission to continue. It is clear and 55 degrees right now. Oh, well, that's not bad at all. Okay, let's take a look at the battery life. Many hours later, and the Active 2 LTE is still ticking. It did go into low power mode, and yes, it's at 2% right now. So if we swipe over, notifications still working, and hey, good job staying active. So I met my heart goals, climbed three flights of stairs, did some stepping, all that fun stuff, and I did a first workout detection. Which is funny, this is the third <laughs> active watch I've had this year, but it restarts every time you reset the watch. So, it's uh, 2300 hours, and it's time for bed, so let's take a look at the stats. We'll switch to uh, screen casting and see how long this battery actually lasts. So it is kind of cool, though, when you are in this low battery mode, yeah, you still have access to a lot of the menus and you can take yourself out of low battery mode. So turning off, power saving. Now it's at 2%. I could have taken a chance and gone to bed and yeah, but what happens is when you're in that low power mode, uh, it doesn't detect heart rate or flights of stairs, so you do miss some data. So now I can scroll over, we can kind of see the end of the day. Not bad. No more events. Let's get this time to go to bed. Heart rate all the... Oh, and I have been running continuous heart rate. And if I swipe down, you'll notice LTE is currently not on because Bluetooth is connected. We'll cover that later. Oh, here's the cool thing. When you go back to that, see how the little... Uh, Heart logo flashes. Now, if I click on this, we should get our nail animation. Oh yeah, gamification with Samsung. Wow, you've met your targets, thanks. All right, let's get back to the battery. And screencasting, here we go. So what Samsung advertises on the website is that the Active 2, actually in a lot of their watches, they've just put multiple days. So if we open up the Wear app, let me turn up the screen brightness so I can't even see it. There we go. So here we go. Battery, 1%. 31 minutes remaining. Yeah, when it gets down to 1%, uh, yeah, you really need to charge your watch. But if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, about watch, And click on battery. And there we go. Two days, four hours, and 58 minutes. 
since my last full charge. And what did I do during that time? Samsung Health, you know, working out. I wish it actually determined and deciphered, oh, Samsung Health, one section, and GPS, 10%, because GPS does use quite a bit. So during that two days, four hours, and we'll just round it up, two days and five hours, uh, GPS was used, LTE was used. I did about 30 minutes of phone calls over the last two days. So not bad. Bixby, I tried using it. It's a hit or miss, to be honest. And a lot of reminders. Even though it says only 2%. Hmm, yeah, it goes a bit off. So there you go. Pretty heavy use, and it still does two full days and all through the night. And that was on continuous heart rate. Continuous heart rate uses more battery life. Uh, a lot more. Anyway, and then here's the uh, battery information. This is a 340 milliamp battery, which is still a lot better than the original active. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing, even with LTE. Uh, the setting that I have on the LTE is auto. So once the watch disconnects from Bluetooth, after about 20 to 40 seconds, it automatically de uh, detects that. The watch knows that it's disconnected to the phone, and then it goes into cellular mode and phone calls are transferred. So that's a pretty cool feature. Thanks, T-Mobile. And let's see. So yeah, there's the battery life. So now we're going to charge it. Get it up to about 10 or 15 cents and 10, sorry, 10 or 15 percent battery life. Call tonight and go to bed. And maybe we'll do uh, another battery test later this month. But yeah, a solid two days for sure. Definitely a day and a half. And what was the other feature? Oh, even when you are in that low battery mode. It's still doing notifications. You can still answer calls, decline calls. You'll still get your text messages, but you won't be able to really initiate calls. You can't do payments. So it's tracking steps, notifications, alarms still work, calendar notifications, the main notifications part of the watch, but it really is limited. And it'll automatically go into that when you fall to 15%, 10%, and 5%. Or you can go into it at any time. And then it's gray screen, of course, so you don't get the cool watch faces. These are probably my two favorite right now. Uh, this one right here, and that one, which is funny enough, it's not saying the name. Okay, Digital Neon, really good. And uh, the Dashboard one, really good. And then how Health Dashboard Plus, yeah. Health Dashboard Plus is pretty cool. I like it has the uh, workout shortcut right there in the center. All right, well, let's charge this. It'll fully charge in about 90 minutes to two hours. And that's with the fast charge. Yeah. Let's take a look at that, shall we? So there's the watch, there's the charger. And the fast charger, adaptive fast charging. Uh, the watch does not come with this, so you're gonna have to buy that separately. Ooh, still at 1%. So let's charge this. Well, in just the last minute, it turned off, so we'll place it on the charger. Takes a second to initialize. Zero percent. Yikes. Well, I stand corrected. I don't think it would have made it through the night. Plus, uh, that's when you really want to track your heart rate, is when you're uh, sleeping. So, yeah. Low battery mode is not that great.
And here we have some time-lapse footage for when I was simply trying to get the darn device charged so I can go to sleep and still get statistics during the night. It normally charges, in my experience, in about 1.5% per minute. So when the Samsung watch estimates 2 hours charge time, yeah, that's about right. As far as fast charging this device, it should charge a wee bit faster for November 2019. Now in comparison, the watch to the left is the Garmin VivoActive 4, and that fully charges in 6 to 70 minutes, and lasts 5 to 8 days, nearly two or three teams, ne ne nearly three or two times longer than the Samsung Active 2 LTE. Yeah, I feel Samsung could learn a lot from Garmin when charging. I I'd settle for a 90 minute charge instead of the full two hours. While I was waiting uh, for the Samsung to update, I was able to uh, tweak some settings on my Garmin. You can see that you can quickly uh, update your water intake. And uh, on regards to water, eat, instead of just like adding the water itself, Garmin takes a step further and it estimates how much water you've burned throughout the day, you know, how much sweat loss and uh, it will increase my goal from the normal eight hour eight cups of water to even more based upon workouts and daily activities so pretty awesome i was trying to decide how much longer to charge this gadget i plugged it in at 2310 all the day 2042 that's 32 minutes yeah it it took to charge from 0% to 20%. And once it reached 20%, I decided to finally call tonight. And yeah, I just went to bed. I did not want to wait the extra hour and 52 minutes. That's just way too long. So we're going to go to bed and we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. It's now the following day. Oh, that was a fun little battery experience. There's that nice little moon icon just dancing on the bottom of my screen. So uh, I'll finally turn off good night mode. And I'll turn off airplane mode. I actually put it in airplane mode when I go to bed at night. I just think it's better. And I don't know why that screen is flickering. So, went to bed last night, and it was at 20%, and now it's down to 14, so pretty good. It fell 6% over 13 hours. Not bad. So, let's take a look at our daily briefing. Oh, climbed on my floors. This is a cool... Here, we need to fix this video. All right, I switched the video to uh, 1080p. See how this goes. So, here's the daily briefing. Tells you the weather, my schedule, battery, 13%, seven hours and six minutes left. Mm, I don't know about that. that would, uh, it's probably over us maybe because it was in do not disturb in airplane mode. So we're going to charge this up, but first we're going to take a look at sleep. There we go. Six hours and 48 minutes. Ooh, 90%. Almost a solid day. Awake time, 40 minutes, REM, one hour 30, light sleep, deep, and so on. The reason it's doing that REM is because it's also tracking heart rate. If you turn heart rate off at night, you're not gonna get that stat. All right, so let's charge this and see how long it takes to get to 100%. Okay, so we have the watch. We have the fast charger and the OEM disc. So when it comes to Samsung, I highly recommend using OEM. We'll just kind of see how this progresses and see how long it takes. So it's 1210 now, it's at 12%. We'll come back in 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, charging. And the battery life is at 38%. So if we click a button or move it off and put it back on the tray, 
38%. Good afternoon. Yeah, it should give us an estimate. Come on, Samsung. Oh, the anticipation is riveting. Okay, there we go. Screen timed out. Double tap. First, click a button. There we go. One hour and 24 minutes left. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll come back later. Yeah, I got really tired of waiting for the battery to charge, so I ran some errands, but roughly the battery took two hours and change to charge. Well, so there you have it. There's your battery test example for the uh, Samsung Active 2 LTE. Uh, still getting a solid two days, if not two days and 10 hours. So I'm curious, how much battery life are you getting? And the main question, do I recommend this watch? Yes, most definitely.